And welcome back. So we did have mostly cloudy skies through the day with some scattered showers out there. The high temperature so far is 49 degrees, which is 10 degrees below our average high, which is 59. Looking outside right now, we do have partly to mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures have fallen a couple degrees down to 47. Uh, wind chill at 42 with those winds south southeast around 10 miles per hour. The dew point up there at 35, so a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere compared to the last few days. So we do have current temperatures near 47 at Lexington and in Imperial, so cooler air in our south central counties. But as you make your way from Ogallala, Hyannis, Thedford, Broken Bow, temperatures near 50. The warmer air is the furthest north at this time, uh, unlike the last couple of days, with Valentine currently at 54 degrees. There's your wind mainly from a southerly direction. Wind speeds right now around 10 to 15 miles per hour. As you make your way from Valentine into the Panhandle, we have more of a northerly wind out in that direction. So a little bit of a cold front stretched across our viewing area as of right Right now, here's a look at the Doppler radar. So we do have some showers still ongoing, just some light showers or sprinkles from, uh, say, south of Broken Bow to Lexington to Cambridge and another area of sprinkles from Arthur to Hyannis and just north of Ogallala with mostly cloudy skies most everywhere else. So Doppler radar shows that we do have uh, one low that is exiting. That's becoming a rainmaker, severe weather maker well up to our south and to our east. Another one is approaching with that frontal boundary making its way through. High pressure to our south in charge, pumping in uh, relatively warmer air. It's not warm by any stretch of the imagination. It's warmer than the air that is behind it, which we're going to have over the weekend. So this low will move over us and give us the possibility of some rain or snow showers from Saturday night and through Monday morning. So let's track it through time. Any of the showers tonight starting to dissipate, partly cloudy to even mostly clear skies in some areas. We're still into the upper 30s by around the midnight hour, falling into the upper 20s for overnight lows. As we go through the day on Saturday, We'll spend most of the day with dry conditions, just mostly cloudy skies. High temperatures only around 42 degrees with some rain or some snow showers approaching that will make their way through late Saturday night and into Sunday morning. Now by Sunday morning, we're back to mostly cloudy skies, mid to upper 20s, and high temperatures once again will be into the lower 40s for your Sunday. We do have another slight chance of some rain or snow showers Sunday night and through the day on Monday. Looks like there's not really going to be any accumulation, maybe less than an inch in some areas. It's just kind of too warm for uh, snow to accumulate, especially on the roads, but there could be some areas around three inches as you make your way south uh, and west of Imperial north and south panhandle too, some uh, three to six inch amounts out in that direction but looks like it's mainly going to be melt on contact for us low pressure system going right over us so on the back side the cool side we have some snow showers another chance of some snow showers early monday morning before we start to warm up as we go through the day on tuesday so let's take a look at the extended forecast as we go through the next couple of days uh, temperatures into the lower 40s and we do have that chance of some rain or snow showers lasting through Monday morning before we start to clear out. 44 on Monday near 50 and Tuesday mostly sunny and breezy. And for the first part of Wednesday, partly cloudy, warmer air, a high of 54. A wintry mix possible late Wednesday and more rain or snow showers through the day on Thursday with Thursday's high near 40 and lows in the upper 20s. And then still staying well below average for Friday, drying out partly cloudy skies with a high of 45. Kent. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. And coming up in sports,